Hey, all right, all right, all right, all right. You're listening to The Deep Dive on LRS102.com. I am your host, Rocco Jerome, and I'm sitting here with the new LRS102.com champion over at Grand House Pro Wrestling. It's Kevo Thrives. What's happening, man? Fresh in the flesh, man. Tell me something good. Man, the good thing is, is that you're the champ now. That sounds great. <laughs> sounds a little bit better than good. That sounds great. It feels great. I bet it does. Yes. I bet it does. Yes. Now, in, in your line of work, when you're a champion, it means not only that you are performing at the very top of your potential and of your abilities. No doubt, yeah. It also means that you make the crowd feel something. Yeah. They're not going to put the belt, and they're not going to put you in a position to win that belt mm -hmm. if you're not somebody who really gets a reaction from that crowd. And now, I know firsthand <clears throat> that the Grindhouse crowd loves Kevo Thrives. Mm -hmm. I've seen yes. them do nothing but cheer you, uh, 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 chant your name, <laughs> pump their fists, <laughs> yeah, you know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, How does yeah. that feel for you, man? Um, man, it feels, it feels great. Um, the energy I share with the, the Grindhouse, uh, I call them the Grindhouse Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> the energy I feel from them, it, it's, it's a real legit um, thing. Um, and I think that comes from, you know, I, when I say I thrive, um, I think, the people relate to that and it's not so much it's like it's just a gimmick you know i i really live by I thrive and i think that's what they see in me um um that's what i represent and i think they can identify with that and i think that's why it resonates with them so much you know i, I believe in taking those shortcuts i believe in working hard and staying disciplined and consistent with whatever you want to do like that like that's what I embody. So when I say I thrive, that's what I mean. Yeah, man. And I think the people, you know, they see that in me and they just identify with that. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's relatable and they, they get where I'm going. And when I say that, they, they understand what that means. So I think that's what they get behind. Yeah, because you you are a you're a, a, a butterfied star in that wrestling ring <laughs> and around the wrestling ring at yeah. the Grindhouse, uh, the arena over across the bridge in Indiana. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, you're one of us, man. You're, <laughs> you're you're a regular guy too. How do, how does that feel? How does that feel to kind of parse that? Um, you know, one thing I, I I will never do is you know forget you know how this started and, and where I came from. And uh, it wasn't always you know uh, I wasn't always received the best, you know. Oh, yeah. So you, you had to I had to like work towards that. Yeah. So um, and that's done. Um, through repetition and it's done through you know putting yourself out there it's it's done through just believing in what you do and uh how you do it and ultimately like it's based on believing in yourself wow so yeah uh once i put all those together and put all those ingredients together you get what you see yeah. what you uh see every show yeah with, with every shit. month at grindhouse kevo man. thrives yeah kevo thriving Over so time. before before kevo was thriving you were trying to figure it out kevo was surviving <laughs> <laughs> you know before all that i was just kevo <laughs> yeah right. i was just kevo just regular kevo i was just regular kevo yeah. and uh you know over time again like i said you know uh, once I started putting all these pieces together, uh, I started to see the bigger picture. Right on. You know, I started using the paintbrush a little differently, and, you know. Very good. Yeah. So in those early days, you find yourself in situations where the crowd would uh, weren't, weren't, weren't with it? They were booing you and giving you a hard time? Or? You know what? Um, I will say this. The Grindhouse Galaxy has been really, really nice to me. They, they haven't given up on me, even times when I wanted to give up on myself. Uh, I wouldn't say I was booed, but... Um, Again, I wasn't received well. Like, hey, you, you want a reaction. And sometimes I didn't get that reaction. Yeah. But, you know, that didn't stop me. I, I stayed consistent and I kept coming. And again, I think that's what they identify with. Defined they, ways, man. Yeah. I think they, they I, you, I kept getting up. Yeah. And I think they, they, they see a lot of that, you know, in themselves. And, you know, that's deep, man. Yeah. And that's how you can really resonate, man. Any kind of performer. You're playing music, you're making movies, mm -hmm. you're doing the, 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 the king's sport of professional wrestling. That's right, yeah, it doesn't if, matter. If you're able to connect with that crowd, then you're able to do something, right? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep uh, getting up and you gotta keep thriving. That's it, man. Uh, yeah. Kevo Thrives. Kevo Thrives, uh, the last Sunday of the month, typically, 
uh, Grindhouse Pro Wrestling across the bridge in uh, Southern Indiana. Jefferson uh, You're the dot com uh, champion. Dot com champion. What's yes, that? Uh, what's that? E- or the uh, the website address for Grindhouse? That is, that is www.grindhouseprowrestling.com. Right on. Yes. And that's on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook, you can find us on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Um, yeah. What what other social? They're probably Socials on them. There, we have a lot That's of socials. That's as deep as I go. <laughs> yeah. We have a Twitter. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, right we on. have a Twitter. Well, it's X now. Oh, X. yeah. Man, nobody's going to ever get used to that. <laughs> X. Anybody who loves pro weird. wrestling should come check out Grindhouse. It's a great show for the whole family. Yes. Kids come, have a great time. Like I said earlier, you can watch it on TV or platform all you want, but there's nothing like come coming to see professional wrestling. Live. That's it. You nothing owe it to like yourself. It. Check it out. Kevo's going to hang out a little bit more. I'm going to play some more songs. It's the afternoon. It's the weekend. It's the Grindhouse. It's the uh, Rocco's Deep Dive on LRS. 102.com. All right, stick around. We're going to play a couple more tunes. It's the Deep Dive, LRS102.com. My name is Rocco Jerome. The name of the show is the Deep Dive. I'm sitting here with the LRS102.com champion over at uh, Grindhouse Pro Wrestling. Kevo Thrives. What's happening, man? And I'm the one who holds the gold right now. Yeah, you are. Now, what does that mean? It means you got a great big bullseye wrapped around your waist. How do you feel about that, Kevo? Well, Rocco, let me go ahead and tell you something uh, real quick. This isn't my first time holding championship gold. And I, I've experienced this before. Um, I've experienced having that target on my back. And I responded uh, by simply just doing what I do best. And that's staying on top of my game and taking on who, whomever wants to come and try to take this off of me, the dot-com championship. Just know that, you know, when you step into the ring and you're across the ring from me, it's it's not going to be easy. And that's because, you know, I do this. Like, it's, it's not a thing to where, like, I'm just talking. You know, once, you know, cameras go off, I'm in the gym training. I'm getting ready for the next person. And whoever that is, they better have the same mentality and they better be doing the same thing. I mean... You, you got you got to come for me, man. You, you can't you can't just talk the game. You you have to walk the game. I, I'm serious about what I do. I know you are. Yeah, I know you are. And now let's just say, for example, everybody who's got a belt, mm-hmm. nobody has held a belt for eternity. Right. One day, Kevo will not be the dot com champion by hook mm-hmm. or by crook. Yeah. What happens then? What does Kevo do then? Well, Kevo, he will do what he's always done. He will continue to thrive. And that's my that's my mentality, win, lose, or draw. And that's why currently, as I sit across from you, that's why I have this. It's only going to be, you know, a matter of time before I get back up and I get right back to it. So that's my driving force and will continue to be my driving force. That's it, man. To thrive. Kevo is the face that runs the place over at Grand House Pro Wrestling. Uh, you can see that every month, the last Sunday of the month, typically. Uh, check it out online. They're on every sort of social media. You can come out and see uh, Kevo back up his words because that's what Kevo does. Thrive always. Kevo thrives. Thrive always. Right on, man. Thanks for coming, Kevo. No problem. Thanks for joining us here on the Deep Dive. Uh, I will be there this coming, uh, uh, the next, uh, last Sunday January of the month coming 20, up? January 28th. That's it, and you're going up against uh, Tyler Lee Deputy. I have Tyler Lee Deputy to take care of again. I took this off of him. He gets his rematch, hopefully, like I said. Uh, I, I said recently, I, I don't think he has the gas tank to keep up with me, and don't think about it if you, you can't do this journey. So let's see if he... Uh, He's got some gas in that tank. I don't think he does. He's gonna lose it. <laughs> There's a reason this is right here, deputy. You know, you know what time it is. You know where to find me. Yeah, yeah, deputy, come and find him. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming, Kevo. We'll talk to you soon.